Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm just a lady with a bulldog, a camera, and too many opinions. And I have a dentist appointment in like 15 minutes. So we're gonna bang out this banger of a video. And guess what? It's time for July reading mean comments. And you know what's glorious is whenever I do a video about a sh influencer or you know someone just doing not great things or just like super opinionated things, which hey, guess what? <laughs> That's what this entire channel is about. We always get some pretty unhinged comments. And I love it because what do we do when life hands us lemons? We squeeze that lemon juice into the open wounds of our enemies and make them suffer. Anyway, so we have quite a few to get through. I think there might be duplicates in here. So hopefully you think can just take them out. First one was on the Raw Beauty Christie video and it says, that's all you have to prove she's a fundy. That's it. Most of what you said is just you speculating and imagining things. I do be imagining things. That's far from enough for me to brand her as a crazy fundamentalist Christian. I didn't ask you to. If that is enough for you, I question your opinions. I wish you would. Be careful so you don't turn it into without a crystal ball. <sighs> Straight to my heart. Either way, I have no idea who she is, allegedly. Wh what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Good God. This one was also from that video. Most of these are from that video and a bunny XO video. And then the Michaela Naguera being a catfish video. So feel free to go check out the comments on those videos because dear God, usually it takes like, I wanna say like two or three days for the comment sections of videos to get like a little crazy. And so whenever they do, I'll obviously when I first post it, I'll share it to my community tab. But then once I see it getting a little, a little crazy, <laughs> I'll repost it to my community tab again and be like, well, comment section is pretty wild guys. And that's not for me to like have y'all go defend me or anything. It's so that you can be entertained too. This one says my sister in Christ with peace and love, please get to know the Bible a little better. If you think that Christians should have progressive views, Christianity isn't a religion where you can pick and choose what rules you want to follow. Who's going to tell them that I am quite literally not your sister in Christ? It's almost as if this person does not understand that there are many different denominations of Christianity that quite literally focus on different aspects of the Bible. But you know, what do, what do I know? One thing I do know is that if you're going to follow the Bible in a very fundamental way, meaning very black and white, following it to a T, you should not be on the internet. You should not. There's a bunch of other random other shit you should not do. And having progressive views. Hey, babe, lean in real close. Let me, I got something to tell you. And my husband and I say this all the time. And I don't think this person understands. And it is very hard to understand. I get it. Did you know that just because you may disagree with something or maybe don't want it incorporated into your life, you could just not do it. Other people doing it is not affecting you. Did you know that? I know. Wait till this person finds out that the Catholic Church of all places, not all of them obviously, but a lot of them will baptize the children of gay couples and end up having to pay a fine to like their higher ups or whatever. And they say like, no, we, do, we, don't, we don't care that you're gay. And yeah, we'll just go ahead and pay the fine. It literally does not matter. If you want to baptize your child, we will baptize them. That is amazing. I love that. Ain't your religion centered around love and forgiveness and being accepting of other people? It's just so funny that these people, not this specific person, but a lot of these people are like, oh my gosh, you have to repent, like blah, blah, blah. You do this, do that. I love Jesus. And it's like, you realize Jesus would be at the pride parade. Think about who he hung out with. He hung out with the outcasts of society. Jesus would be at the pride parade. He might not be all cheeked up, but he'd be at the pride parade. He'd be hanging with us, okay? He would not be with you. He wouldn't be in church. Sorry, this next one says, oh, wow, girl. Are you serious right now? Megan, I'm so serious. As serious as your dog looks looking out that window in your profile picture. That's a good boy though. Good, good boy. You are literally picking everything apart just because she's Christian. You people are way out in left field. Nah, baby, I'm on the mound. I am on the mound throwing curveballs. 110 mile an hour curveballs, okay? I'm on the mound. I ain't out in left field. Don't you have to be tall to be an outfielder? I ain't that tall. I could be a shortstop or play infield, but anyways. No, it's crazy. Like these people don't watch, like they don't watch the videos. I literally even said in there, I'm a Christian. You can be a Christian and not be a person. You can be a Christian and be gay. Wow, she was so nice to you. And now this? 
This has nothing to do with it, but your eyeballs look very uneven, almost like one looks up and the other one looks to the side a little. I know you can't help it, but I just wanted to let you know. Wow, thanks. I'll go ahead and get my eyeballs fixed right away. This person clearly needs to get their eyes checked. But even if I am wall-eyed, at least I'm not homophobic and spreading misinformation. Also, yeah, someone was nice to me, turned out to be a shitty person, allegedly. I'm gonna call it out. Crazy. Why are you bashing her beliefs, the way she lives? This is a prime example of why we are so divided nowadays. Why can we just let others live the way they want? I'm sure you wouldn't like someone judging your entire life. It's almost like you should say that to the people standing on the corner with the signs that say drag queens are molesting children. Don't know if anyone's on the corner saying that. I don't wanna spread misinformation, but there are crazies out there. Almost like you should say that to the other people. I'm not trying to make people gay. I'm not trying to make people a Christian. They can live their life the way they want, but when you are a public figure and arguably there's a huge chance that most of your audience is gay, or gay adjacent, queer adjacent, whatever, queer associated as, as we made up that term last time. I say those people should probably know that you hate them. It's okay to have different views. She's allowed to believe what she believes without scrutiny. She can believe what she wants to believe, obviously. She can have her own opinions, of course, but without scrutiny, no. No, that's not how the world works. <laughs> it's like freedom of speech. Yeah, obviously you can say whatever you want, but you are also going to follow the rules of whatever platform and whatever media that you're saying these opinions on. And then also freedom of speech, but not without consequences. Freedom, like, sh of course, freedom of religion, duh. I can't talk about freedom of press and freedom of speech without talking about freedom of religion. You can or can't believe in whatever you want. Who cares? These people are idiots. You are a very judgmental person. You got that right, buddy. That's why I made it a career. Did you seriously just say that gang stalking is delusion? Well, you need to awaken, girl. Wow. You can have every opinion you want. Thank you for the permission. But victim shaming and saying that they are delusional. Wow. I'm disgusted and shocked. I hope you never have to go through it or maybe you should. Sounds like a fun time. Let's go. Let's see you then saying that. This is exactly what those who are doing it want everyone to believe. Before having so many opinions, you should gain some humility and awareness, girl. Wow. <laughs> and then I put the official definition of gang stalking from, I forgot what website I got it from, but I looked at multiple and they were all the same. Just literally Google it. And yeah, I had no idea that gang stalking was an actual term of like just delusions. It's the like victimized delusions, like the perpetual victim type thing where it's like, I'm being stalked. I'm being like, it's all that, right? When that's most likely not happening. So yeah, this person's an idiot. It's just so funny when people get mad at things that like literally haven't happened. Like someone will get mad about something and they're like, you said this. And I'm like, that's not what I said. Or, and it's also not what I meant. You're getting mad at something that never happened. Are you okay? Log off. This video is a lot of speculation and also wrong. No, it's not. That's my opinions. Christy has talked a lot about all the medications she has taken slash takes and is currently on antidepressants. And she should probably stay on them. As someone who Zoloft has saved their life, girls stay on your medications because dear God, that guy get him. <sighs> also, yeah, that's why we say allegedly. That's why it says allegedly in the title. Like people are so, mm. get over yourself, dumb. I, I do, I do be, <laughs> I do be that. But no, I'll never get over myself. I will never. Could you imagine? I'll never. So someone that was kind enough to go out of their way to give a girl who's coming up some helpful advice and now you shit on so two-faced. I thoroughly enjoy your mean comment videos, but I get why they're so good. It's because of your sh personality. And by the way, no need to toot your own horn here, girl. No one remembers you from any video before. Let's go ahead and insert all of those comments where people said that they remembered me from the John Cookian video and from that era. Because yes, a lot of the people who were watching that content back then are still watching this type of content today. So you're wrong, Charlie. Also, how is it two-faced? to say it to someone's face and privately, because I did text her, I also emailed her and DM'd her and asked for a statement prior to posting that video. I did, and also, how the fork is it two-faced? She was nice to me, I really liked her content and I supported the shit out of her. And then now I'm really disappointed, like, and publicly talk about it. How is that two-faced? Oh, Lord. And then Goosey Girl said, but here you are engaging and watching her video and giving her clicks and views. Yeah, there you are. There she is. The LGBTQDT. I think there's a I think there's a few extras in there, but hey, whatever. Is a threat to kids. 
And that is a fact. Hey, guess what? We're not like Hawaii. We're not just making more of ourselves. No one can make your kid gay. They just are. I was not exposed to anything gay, gay adjacent, queer associating for, dear God, the majority of my life. And then, <laughs> and then middle school happened. And I was like, mm, I like kissing girls. <laughs> and then I went to an all girls boarding school and I was like, this is fun. <laughs> this is real fun. And then I had my first girlfriend. She was so beautiful. Mm, maybe I just thought she was my girlfriend. <laughs> Maybe that was a delusion I had. I'm just kidding. Oh God, she's so beautiful. Anyways, calm down, Chelsea. I told Tony that I found her on Instagram and he's like, let's not do that. <laughs> and I was like, okay, I won't. You can send your kids to public school. I would never do that and let them be indoc indoctrinados. What? I didn't because they are big now, but please don't endorse gay BS. First of all, I will continue and always always endorse gay because that's fun and hilarious back on my gay all right there is literally nothing wrong with being gay nothing nothing wrong with being gay even if you're just a little bit gay nothing wrong with it girlfriend that's it any of this like drag queens or you know shouldn't be around kids or blah blah, blah or indoctrination or like any type of anything like that all comes down to you don't want your kid to be gay. That's it. That's literally it. You can say it's a billion other things, but that's all it is. We can, of course, have a conversation of what is age appropriate. We can completely take se sexuality out of that. We can have that conversation, of course. Age appropriate is it? That's that's an issue, especially with the internet these days. I get it. I completely understand. How my niece, she's ten, and she keeps saying she's like, I really want to watch your YouTube videos, and I'm like, bugs there. No. I was like, first of all, you won't like them because they're like educational and kind of funny, and it's not something you would like. And she's like, okay, but I really want to. I was like, no, no, no. I was like, and it's not age appropriate for you. I was like, maybe when you're like 16, but no, not right now. Oh, good God. Then this person again said, if you are Christian, you don't force that on your kid. You shape your kid spiritually. That's not a choice. I don't think you know what, what you are talking about. I think you are illiterate and an idiot and homophobic and you should move to an island so that no one has to hear your sh opinions anymore. And yeah, I got my kid baptized. We go to church occasionally. I am involved in my church. If my kid ever tells me, hey, I don't want to go to church, I'm never going to make him do that. If he wants to say, hey, I don't believe in God or Jesus or anything, that's cool, dude. You can believe whatever you want. That's fine. Have you tried dry shampoo? That might help with some of the oiliness. Also layers with a bit of texture would help. And I said, I didn't ask for your advice. I don't have oily hair. Thanks, bud. I think it's just my, uh, my lighting. Also, my hair is like still a little bit damp from the shower because I didn't blow dry it. But have you never seen shiny hair? Who needs money? Not me. Why? Sorry, you can make other content. You're not going to tell me what to make. I'm going to make 47 videos just like the one that I made that you commented on like this. Women are so cruel to other women. What happened to the sisterhood? Gross. Getting close. Helix more. I'm sorry. Is your name Helix? Oh my God, it's like when people name their kid Axel. I'm going to name my next kid Tire or Muffler. Brimbro breaks. Anyways, he'll be yellow. Super jaundicey. The ideology and the narrative and that just because you're a woman, I have to support you. No, I don't support women. I support fierce, funny, hilarious, good women. I don't support women. That's misogynistic. No, we're not these meek little characters that need to be supported by one another. No, if you're I don't want to talk to you. Goodbye. But I will talk about you and make a video about it. You're saying your opinion, but picking at others for having their opinions. If you can't use homonyms the correct way, invalid invalid comments invalid absolutely oh my god my dentist appointment in 10 minutes about that i watch christy a lot for her nature is fun what oh i got now i'm illiterate i watch christy a lot her nature is fun her nature she doesn't own nature i guess maybe she does if it's on her property quirky and fun a double dose of fun that's too much fun who let you have fun oh god do i have to start saying that now since cody co's canceled she's also very intellectual not afraid to be real are you five years old andrea how about just accept people as they are and stop analyzing others and i said how about this is a commentary and i give my opinions i'm not stopping anyone from doing the same and guess what she can have her own opinions and all that that's great she can have her own beliefs that's great but to perpetuate misinformation as a public figure, not only that, but then to have these dangerous, and yes, they are dangerous, beliefs, like keeping our kids safe from drag queens and from the homosexuals. They're going to make our kids gay. Uh, that's dangerous. That's not an opinion. That's delusion. 
And that is dangerous. And then also the fact on top of that, that she hasn't talked about it. And then also the fact that she is a public figure where, like I said, arguably a good amount of her audience due to the age range and demographic and all that, and the type of content that she makes is probably gay or queer associated. I'm just gonna keep saying queer associated. Oh my God, I need to make a merch that says queer associated. Having those underlying beliefs and like hiding those beliefs from your audience who it's like directly affecting, that's messed up. And boring. To go after kids is disgusting. Leave her alone already. Hey, Tanya, no one's going after kids, especially not gays or drag queens. You know who is? The men that wear dresses in the church. Y'all got enough to deal with. Y'all, y'all, y'all are okay. Some of y'all are okay with uh, child marriages and haven't like have, have stopped those from becoming illegal. So stop that. The hate against women is unhinged. Not surprised everyone goes after who is doing well, especially women. Laura, what are you talking about? So because she's doing well and I also have a vagina, I can't call her out on her sh behavior or have an opinion? That sounds like hate against women. <laughs> what? That's crazy. I don't think anyone cares when it's a makeup artist. She's not a makeup artist. The job is specifically making up people with makeup, not with filters. That makes no sense. There are other real issues to discuss. Yes, absolutely. Create a YouTube channel and discuss them. I don't do that here. <laughs> We talk about here. Oh no, not a mom concerned about pumping her kids full of 70 some different vaccinations that they have to get before school age. Oh no, not a mom waking up to all of the poison surrounding our children. You could wake up too. And I responded, I hope that your child never gets polio or measles. 70 different vaccines? My child's one and he's gotten, like, yeah, there's different doses and they space them out. Like where, where are y'all's facts? and evidence regarding vaccinations being filled with l toxic, you know, lead. Toxicity is not in regards to the actual thing itself, the ingredient, it's in regards to the dosage. You absolute used plungers. Thank you. Good God, I'm just, I listen, I texted my mom the other day and I was like, thank you for getting me vaccinated on every, everything. Right when that HPV, right? HPV, yeah. Right when that HPV vaccine came out, I was in the wilderness in a residential or in a um the wilderness program for troubled teens i was at one of those the vaccine came out and my mom was like no no no, that girl was being a so <laughs> so we're gonna have a have a nurse go out there and give her the two doses of gardasil yep <laughs> also hpv had been like going around at the high school i went to prior so yeah thank god for her because there are some people that didn't get it and those people now have terrifying issues. I can't believe people give and receive opinions like these as though they matter. I'd say 137,000 people listening, I'd say that matters, but go off. Y'all really out here helping to pay other people's bills to gossip about stuff that does not affect y'all at all. How can we have such little going on in your life? And I said, little going on? I'm not talking on the internet for free, babe. This is my job. And they said, I hope you sleep well at night knowing that your job is to be a bully and make fun of how other people live their life. Some job. Yeah, I sleep really well at night because there's nothing weighing heavy on my heart because I call out and unethical stuff. It's quite fabulous. But yeah, I sleep really well. If my baby sleeps through the, through the night. If not, then I don't. What's your problem with Bunny? Honestly. Hey, dummy, did you watch the video? <laughs> like, you could just, you know, turn up the volume on the video you're watching. But why do you care so much? I mean, clearly you care because you came and watched the video. It interests you too, otherwise you wouldn't be here. These people, I tell you. Girl, you're still talking about saint didn't i teach you a lesson prior little girl stop being a user with your broke tail and mind your business you living check to check content creator have a great thursday well you spelled thursday wrong so we're off to a great start honey lush co didn't i teach you a lesson clearly not babe because i don't know who you are <laughs> like what it's so hilarious when people like really thought they did something but it's like i have no idea who you are what are you talking about wild. Soras, you wouldn't have a clue. What are you being paid for listening to your own voice? I also suggest you eat less. What a ridiculous ego. Tricks on you. I have to set reminders to remind myself to eat because otherwise I forget because ADHD medication. Soras is simply not credible. I mean, no sh buddy. She has an unjustified ego beyond belief. That is the sweetest thing anyone's ever said to me. She is annoying and only comments negatively. I am annoying. You're right. 
I am just learning about the product and she has added nothing but rubbish. Get her off YouTube. It's funny because it's my opinion that you're a turd. Why are you so mad and jealous? I don't think I've ever seemed mad in a video. I mean, I almost cried in the Raw Beauty Christy one, but that was more sad and disappointed. I don't think, I'm not mad. Also jealous of what? Of Bunny's body, of her fame, of whatever. I, if I wanted her body, I would just buy it like she did. Like, and there's nothing wrong with that. I got sculpture injections in my butt. Clearly I'm okay with aesthetics and injectables and stuff. Like, okay. Girl, if jealousy was a person, I wouldn't know her because that's not, she's not, who would play her? Not me. What are you talking about? Your content is good, but your personality comes off as just plain ugly. You can block me. I don't really care. Why'd you comment? Also, my personality is pretty great. I don't know what you're talking about. Hi, enjoyed the, <laughs> enjoyed watching until you called Mary Magdalene Jesus is her friend. How dare you f off. <laughs> Stacy. I called her Jesus's hoe friend. And that's a hilarious joke which Jesus would think is funny and so would Mary because she was that. Dang, I'm out. This is disgusting. Just be yourself. Stop filling your body with toxic. Have to unsubscribe from you. And I said, good riddance, babe. Also, do you drink alcohol? Because that's poison. That's toxic. You'll be fine. My lip injections, my sculpture injections, my filler, Botox, whatever, doesn't affect you because it's my body and not yours. If you let anything control your life, it's your own fault. By the way, you're completely full of ish. You're wrong on the first part, Steph, Stefan, Stephen, Stephen Lachersh. You're wrong on the first part. Have you ever heard of a manipulative, like, cult, maybe? Also, I'm pretty sure that person's an AMY because that was the title of the video. And I am full of it. You're right on that one, though. Anyways, I'm late for my dentist appointment. They're going to be mad at me. And my mouth is going to be numb because I have to get three fillings because I'm disgusting. So thanks for the solid, gross genetics when it comes to my teeth. Dad, really appreciate it. Anyways, appreciate you. Love you. Please subscribe. If you are subscribed, your butt looks so good. When you are subscribed, to tell you your butt looks good. Anyways, I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.